I finally did it, Archivist. I found a way to tear through the fabric of time and arrive in an entirely different year. A new century, if I desired, past or future. And I want to take you on my journey. Mm, I haven't tested it yet, but you and I, we're going to do this together. Are you ready? <laughs> Whoa, that was interesting. Tesla's a fascinating guy. Much shorter than I expected, though. Well, it seems like this thing works. Where else can we go? Huh, I must be in medieval Europe. I really dig this music. Yon sir is talking to himself, he is. And he wears strange garb. Well, I'll be a, the gent is a witch. He's a witch. Get him! Burn him at the stake. Wow, that was a close one. I'm offended that he called me a witch. Shouldn't he have called me a wizard? Hey, I think it's time to go to the beach. <laughs> uh. Hello? Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, I'm at the beach. Uh, I'm doing, uh, research. Yeah. Okay. These guys spoil everything. Hey, what happened to the world? Where's my studio? Oh, okay, I know how to fix this. There, finally. So that was an ordeal. You know, as dangerous as it would probably be, I think we can all agree that time travel would be an experience of a lifetime. Imagine being able to beam yourself into any point in history with the click of a button. No more boring school lectures. You could relive history just like Bill and Ted. Now, it might not be a possibility that we know of, but these 10 Google images may have conspirators thinking otherwise. Number 10, time traveling cage. Some people think this photo is proof that Nicolas Cage is a vampire. We believe it's irrefutable evidence that he's a time traveler. Think of it. What better adventure is there to top his search for national treasure than to travel back in time and fight in the Civil War? Could that be what ultimately drove him mad enough to think this was acceptable? Number nine, the New York time jump. From churning out chart-topping hits to running his own prolific music label, Jay-Z is a busy, busy man. But even throwing being a father on top of all of that didn't stop him from hopping in his time machine and scooting back to Harlem circa 1939. Photographed by Sid Grossman, this image clearly captures Jay-Z sporting early era garb. And that pose? That's modern swagger if I've ever seen. Swagger? Hmm. Number eight, jumping the matrix. Keanu Reeves is an all around nice guy who's always looking for a way to do something for others. So who can't believe he didn't travel back to the late 19th century to take up painting so we could be gifted with great works of art like Jeanne d'Arc and Lesson Before the Sabbath. Why he chose Louis Maurice Botet du Montvel as a name escapes me at the moment but he could have done worse. Now you may also be questioning how the French painter could have existed for 62 years and Keanu still look like he's 35. But that answer is simple. Clearly, he's a time-traveling immortal. Number seven, the watch in the tomb. In 2008, an archeological dig team was said to have happened upon an impossibility while excavating a Ming Dynasty tomb in Shanxi, China. Of the most peculiar finds was this ring that, upon close inspection, seemed to bear markings resembling a modern watch. 
Many explanations circle the web, with the most popular and most rational being time travel. What else could it be? <coughs> Photoshop. <coughs> uh, clearly, a Swiss watch salesman spent his earnings on a time machine, got himself mixed up in the Ming Dynasty, and told them fanciful tales of the wearable sundial. Uh, yeah. Number six, Mr. Pynchon and the iPhone of Springfield. Excuse me, gents, I just have to finish this tweet and shout out to my Insta-fans, is what I assume is being said in this 1937 Umberto Romano painting. Though it looks like this painting may have been doctored, the original print shows a Native American looking at what looks like a smartphone. Ready for my hypothesis? Somebody traveled back in time and gave the pilgrims a bunch of iPhones that fell off the back of the truck. The pilgrims then used the phones as a gift to the Native Americans. I also think Mr. Pynchon and the settling of Springfield captures the culprit. And apparently, a broomstick is the key to time travel. Number 5. Mobile in the City Whoever's going back in time and dropping off cell phones really needs to stop. It's just giving people false hope and an addictive habit. See this guy wandering aimlessly with a phone attached to his ear? there's nobody on the other side of the line, because the genius time traveler responsible for leaving this smart device behind failed to install cell towers. Ha, huh, this guy thinks he's hit the jackpot with the pretty sounding voice on the other side of the line. Meanwhile, he's trying to strike up a conversation with Verizon's automated messenger. Number four, Monroe's Admirer. Back in the day, if you wanted to snag a snapshot of Marilyn Monroe, you had to go through the process of installing film, snapping the picture, removing the film, and getting it developed. The time-traveling lass in this picture has the right idea. Bring your cell phone and avoid unnecessary film hassles. No, don't try to reason it away. That's an iPhone and that woman is from the future. You just wait until there's an Instagram page of all authentic Marilyn Monroe pictures. Wait a second. It already exists. That sly devil. Number three, the 1970s punk. This one was like a less cluttered Where's Waldo. I knew something was amiss, but then I saw it. This guy has a mohawk and is trying to fit in by wearing suspenders over his white t-shirt. Compare him to everyone else in this picture and he stands out like a sore thumb. Seems uncharacteristic for a punk to have a time machine, but maybe most confusing is why he'd pick this 1905 setting to travel back to. Number two, the out of place phone. Okay, now who keeps traveling through time and dropping phones everywhere? In this 1962 image of the FIFA World Cup, it's clear that technology was still bulky and inconvenient. Just look at that camera in the right third of the image. So what in the heck is that in the bottom third? It sure does look like a camera phone to us. One with a pretty sizable display too. I just feel bad that it'll still be a few decades before he can share that iconic picture on Instagram. Number one, the Basiago experiment. Okay, this image may need a little backstory to be understood. You see that kid in the middle of it? The one that's too cool to look at the camera? According to Seattle attorney, Andrew Basiago, that's him. The thing is, that picture is allegedly from Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, and Basiago was a teenager in the 70s. The lawyer says that in 1972, using a plasma confinement chamber in Easter Hanover, New Jersey, he was sent back in time as part of Project Pegasus, a secret government program. Thanks for watching. Would you time travel if given the ability? What period would you travel to? Time travel may not exist, but you can visit Top 10 Archives history by watching one of these or the hundreds of videos we have right now.